actor has their own journey in breaking into the industry and Ariana and I got to sit down with actor Lamont Rucker okay, to find out. you're smiling too big. <laughs> you already know. I know. How he got his start. Take a look. Over the years, you've played in many different things. Soap operas, movies, obviously Greenleaf, mm -hmm. Meet the Browns. Kind of talk about how you got into acting. Um, I, bo actually, both of my parents are also artists. So I grew up, obviously, in a, in a home and really in a community of of artists, so the artist within me was always encouraged, was always being cultivated. So, uh, I mean, I'm I'm of the ilk that everybody in the world really is creative. Mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't mean everybody's going to be a creative performing artist per se, but I mean, creativity is everywhere. Everybody has it. It I believe God gives it to all of us for um, for a variety of different reasons. You know, sometimes it's problem solving, or sometimes it's just you know. I don't have much, but I got to eat something. So I'm going to throw this and this and that together and right. I'm nourished, right? Mm -hmm. But so, um, so as far as my start, it's always a little difficult to really kind of pinpoint that. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I've been, I have memories of being, you know, very small, very young, doing something, you know, um, mm -hmm. artistic, I guess, if you will. And uh, so it's always been a part of, you know, part of my life, always been a part of my um um, you know, my personality and definitely, thankfully as well, not just because I'm now privileged enough to make a living doing it, but even if I wasn't, I just think it's a privilege to always encourage that and nurture that in everybody. So I'm really happy and uh, very thankful that my, you know, my parents and my surrounding extended family, right, and community and school mm -hmm, and, yeah. you know, all of that supported and, you know, nurtured that, that creativity. So I've been, been doing this really ever since I was a kid. And then ended up going to uh, performing arts high school. I grew up in D.C., so I went to Duke Ellington School of Performing Arts, and uh, that's in D.C. So, you know, that's really kind of where I, I guess give the most credit for, uh, you know, at least the the actor, the the artist um, that you see in front of you. What attracted you to your current role as Jacob Greenleaf? Wow, <laughs> um, you know what? A lot. There's a lot that attracted me to it, and a lot that didn't. Okay. To be transparent, cool. so. What was really interesting was, um, you know, I mean, if you're familiar with the show, you see, you see so many things about uh, not only Jacob, but the family, um, you know, the fabric of just the backdrop that we have with it being, you know, as being our, our business being faith. Right. I definitely had my concerns about, you know, how well is this um, going to be executed? Um, and that would, that would be my concern regardless of where the show was coming from, right? Regardless of what studio, regardless of what network. Um, but in particular because we, were, we are really the first show out of the gate at OWN as far as being original OWN, you know, um, original programming in particular, a serial drama. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So as, to me that's a lot. There's a lot at stake. That's a lot of responsibility. It's a lot of pressure. But I was also very excited about that same fact, right? But definitely concerned because I take it, I take my responsibility very seriously about how I'm going to represent, um, you know, the kingdom of God even, right? right? But even when you really dial it down, um, how we represent ourselves as black people and people of color, how I represent the black man, mm -hmm. the black family, mm -hmm. the black child, everything. I think all of that's so extremely important. I was a little concerned at that initial character description because I was like, all right, I'm not doing another, you know, sorry ass dude. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're not, I'm over that, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and even though what I love about every character that I play, and even sometimes I'll choose to really delve in and find certain things, but what I'm always looking for is the imperfection. I'm looking mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. the mistakes, the flaws, mm -hmm. the shortcomings, if you will, the vulnerabilities, the insecurities, you know, that's what makes people real. So even if I'm playing a hero and the good guy, there's something about him that isn't, isn't always okay. Mm -hmm. What is that? Like, you know, let's really make this man a real human being. And if he's kind of a bad guy, then what are the things about him that are redeeming? That okay. where's his humanity? Mm -hmm. Where's his beauty and brilliance? So I saw that in Jacob. I saw that possibility in how I could really like um, make this man, you know, like really show his magnificence um, at the same time 
show that he got a lot of work to do and he's lost. He doesn't know who he is. Um, he's confused. He's unconfident. He's in an abusive marriage, mm. um, you know, under his mother's thumb and in his father's shadow, you know, mm. uh, loves his children, but is still finding his way, you know, uh, has three sisters, you know, <laughs> but still trying to have some kind of power and presence and value mm -hmm. in this, you know, whole sibling, right, value chain. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a lot. And then on top of that, you're the prince of the palace. You're this, right? right. You're living in this world that nobody really understands. You know, how do you do that? And how can I do that in a way that's really authentic and that's really honest? Mm -hmm. um, that's interesting, but that's fun. Right. Try to make sure Jacob's got a sense of humor. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, um, yeah, he's he's deep. There's a lot to him. He's very complex. And, uh, you know, it was really important to me to try to find that. And I really thought this show um, that's brilliantly put together, incredibly cast, brilliantly produced and written and everything. I mean, I can't even tell you how how highly I think of, you know, uh, my entire team and family from this, you know, studio network all the way down our production company, our executive producers and showrunners and cast and crew. I mean, I love these people to death. So it's really turned out to be a really phenomenal experience. But from the get go, I was like, eh. yeah. at the it's same kind of time, I was, like, yeah. I was like, you know what? I'm do this. And that was just part of our interview with Lamont. It actually went on a lot longer and we'll show that to y'all later this week. But it's just so interesting hearing that from an actor's point of view. And I don't know. I just loved him. And oh, we know. Why did I get married? I, I had to them. remind her, like, he's been in he's other He's been in other roles. things, and I've watched Greenleaf as well. But yes. I just she see him as Sheriff to, Troy. And I had to say Lauren. He's Jacob. He's Jacob Greenleaf, and Greenleaf is still going on. Yes. But it was so nice to talk to him and to talk to him about that, that journey and... You'll hear more from him again. A lot of relationship it advice is. as well. He did, and afterwards. We talked about it even after. Yes, he needs to write a book in regards to relationships. He really he should. gave a lot of great perspective as far as what's going on in the guy's head. That's true. To help us get out of our own head and not being so emotional. Guys have feelings too. <laughs> I'm waiting to see him. All right, we got more Being a Woman coming up right after this break. We'll be right back.